Today, the mobile phone is the master key to your whole digital life. So I got a mail from our IT department a few days ago and they warned about macroviruses and ransomware. This is not the classical break-in, it's a more, more about social engineering. When we think about hacker attacks, we often think about uh, people um, a bit like in Star Wars, where, where the robot does, you know, finds the secret key combination by going through lots of permutations. And of course those attacks also happen. The easiest, simplest, cheapest way to do an attack is through social engineering. Take for instance uh, tagging along. So you want to get into a room, but the door is locked and you don't have the key. So you just wait until someone comes along and you tag along after them and get in when they open the door. This works 99 times out of 100. So is this the same with email? The, the security on computers are relatively good against outside attacks, but the uh, email is where you, you get an attachment or a link to open. Um, that's a way to use you as the insider to open the door for the person on the outside. So it's actually the very same attack, just that it happens on the computer. Uh, it's very much like a Trojan horse, or it's like in the old days, people were convinced that the, you could only get the devil inside your house by inviting him that he couldn't cross the threshold without an invitation. So it's, it's about the same thing. Someone knocks on your door and says, hello, I'm here to sell vacuum cleaners. And you go like, okay, come in. And they go like, mwahaha, now I'm on the inside. How can we protect us from social engineering? Um, coming back to the doors where um, you convince someone to, or you don't even convince them, you just tag along behind them and they, they don't even look at you. Um, how do you protect against that? Well, you use doors where only one person can pass at a time. So that's what, com what many companies do. They have the doors that go, or they have the revol revolving doors where only one person can pass at a time. That makes it, of course, much harder to do a tag along. But it also makes it much harder to enter for the people who should enter. Yes, it's, it can be really annoying. Uh, in one place where I worked, uh, you couldn't pass twice in, the, in 15 minutes. So if you, got, if you got in, you couldn't go out and go back in again. Because then it would count as you borrowing your card to someone else. So, but, but that uh, just takes care of the door. What about something else? What about the windows or the mobile phone or you know whatever so whatever physical or, or um, technical protection we put up there will still be something that we're not protected against and well what do we have to do then we have to have awareness of of this everyone should know about tag along attacks everyone should know that you know you don't open attachments from from strange people uh, but still people do we see them often and what, what can we do about it? Can we educate people or should we have technical means to stop people? I think that we need a combination of awareness and technical protection. I think that it's a little bit sad that your entire computer can be encrypted by ransomware just by clicking on a link. How is that supported in the operating system? So, of course, one solution to that is to use a different type of computer, such as a tablet, where uh, the um, lockdown is much tighter. Of course, also backup can give you an opportunity to uh, uh, bypass any uh, ransomware. So there are many technical protections that can prevent or limit the damage once the problem is found. What is the downside with those technical limitations? Well, it used to be that in, in, uh, in Windows, a few versions back, you couldn't even run anything if you weren't an administrator. So if you put any lockdown on it, you basically, well, sometimes you couldn't even print. Is there any differences now compared to before with more mobile devices, more people using computers, we are more con connected? Today, the mobile phone is the master key to your whole digital life. 
with access to your mobile phone. You get access to your main email account, and through that you can reset the password of almost any service that you're using. So protecting your mobile phone is the most valuable thing in your home today? Have your mobile phone locked, don't share the key with anyone, not even your wife or your husband or your children. Thank you very much Gregor for talking about social engineering and what we can do to protect us both from a company perspective but also from a private perspective. Thank you Kasimir.